right now two actors, both born in Puerto Rico, both serving in the military, served in the military, plus one was a cop. <laughs> And now they're both performing in a play that one of them wrote. Now, there is an excellent chance that you'll recognize our next two guests from their many movies and TV shows. Number one, Paul Calderon from the films Bad Lieutenant and Pulp Fiction, or HBO's Boardwalk Empire, if you stay home for your entertainment. Nice to have you here. Thank you. And David Zayas from the films Annie and Tallulah, and of course series like Oz, Legendary, Dexter, and Gotham for all you youngsters who don't have HBO <laughs> or Showtime. Mm -hmm. Welcome. But they're here today mainly to talk about the play that Paul has written and directed and that he and David are co-starring in. It's called Fringe of Humanity. It's a production of Primitive Grace Ensemble and it's running through the 28th at Access Theater in Manhattan. Welcome, guys. Thanks Thank for you us. both for, for joining us. us. Paul, why don't we start with you a little mm -hmm. bit about Fringe of Humanity and how you came up with it, how Sounds you wrote like it. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Fringe of yeah. Where, do you go from there? <laughs> Where do I go from there? Well, you know, it's a play that I wrote uh, based on many of my experiences in the business over the last 40 years or so. And um, we started developing uh, within our group uh, Prim Primitive Grace. It's on Ensemble Theater Company that we both are both um, co artistic directors of. And it's, you know, we wrote 20 pages, then we wrote 30, then we wrote 40, and then, you know, we kept going and going and going. And we did a stage reading last year. Everybody got excited, and um, now we're doing a production. And now you're at the Access. I love that theater, yeah. by yeah, the way. Yeah, it's a beautiful theater. Yeah. Yeah. I love the people there. It's so great. So, David, tell us a little bit about the themes in this play and, and the characters you guys are both playing in it. Uh, you know, I, I, play, um, I play the producer, a producer, mm -hmm. uh, Ross Gaussman. Uh, it's, it's a pretty high-octane roller coaster of a, of a story that uh, takes place in a, in a third world country and there's this independent film crew that goes in there and... Is it like it could be any third world country? Or? Yeah, 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 pretty a much. A bad third, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just a bad third world country. Kind of more, more lawless yeah, than yeah. usual. Okay, you know, okay. And, Very and, lawless, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. probably, you know, the, it's probably, you know, a place where we can do the film cheaper yeah. than, than most places. And, uh, you know, a lot of events happen and uh, the... the the nuances of these characters, um, you know, come to the surface during the, the life of this play, and uh, you know, it's a it's a ride. It's a wild ride. Mm -hmm. So we've had a wild ride in current events lately. Like, how much <laughs> of that mm -hmm. plays into your play when you say we had 20 pages and then we had 30? Do you sort of put on your blinders, or are you absorbing all these things that are happening in the world and they? filter through to the script. Yeah, it's funny because, you know, some people that saw the stage reading last yeah. year, we did two stage readings. Um, during the presidential campaigns, um, many of them thought that I had based his character on Trump. Really? <laughs> That's Which amazing. I hadn't. Said there were jerks yeah. before. Yeah. And this character was based on many jerks that I've worked with <laughs> in the past. And uh, so, yeah, it's kind of so like... Naturally, he um, thought of you. Uh, of course. <laughs> I'm yeah. the perfect fit for it, you know. <laughs> it really made it easy for me as an actor to uh, have that you know, playing that type of character, yeah, yeah. Uh, a character that's uh, it just just yearns for power, yet he's all a bag of wind, really. right? You yeah. know, and right. Um, which can be dangerous, mm -hmm. as we can see. Mm -hmm. So that steps into process a little. If you have a guy who might be inspiring, sort of every night on the news. But Mel was telling me earlier something about Denzel Washington saying uh, he acts the same if it's a theater piece or on film, which we thought was a bunch of hot air, so we wanted to ask you guys. <laughs> yeah. like, if you would like your process for theater versus TV work and film. Oh, we so you guys have done yeah. so much it's of both. Just, we, you yeah. place just as much importance, yeah. and you sure. work just as hard, sometimes harder, mm -hmm. regardless of the status of the project that you're in. Mm -hmm. um, at the moment, I mean, for me as an actor, whatever I'm doing is the most important thing, yeah. uh, regardless of the status, whether it's financial, whether, you know, yeah, yeah. Who, how many people are watching. Uh, you sure. work just as hard and, and just as passionate 
Uh, yeah. So Denzel is correct. But no, we're I getting all inside the, the actor studio with yeah. you. Like, it yeah. can't, like you show up, you give your yeah, performance, but you can't be on TV like you're in the theater. No, no, no. It's it's different. Performing for theater. Yeah. Well, yeah. performing for a small house is different than performing for a big house. Gotcha. Right. If you're in a 50-seat house like we're in, uh, it's got to be different than playing to a Broadway theater. Right. Uh, if you're in front of the camera and it's a close-up, yeah. um, you have to act differently for different frames right. when you're acting and you have to act for different houses differently mm -hmm. you know maybe you have to open up a little bit more maybe you have to project a little bit more and so mm -hmm. forth and so on you can't be as subtle on stage as you are in film there's no way yeah you but that's be. technically mm -hmm. right. artistically right. and passionately right is, no, no, no of course and I totally but technically, agree. technically there's a huge difference I totally agree yeah no which is why I found it really shocking because he basically said no no you don't have to change anything I'll just bring the camera to you and I mm -hmm. said mm -hmm. no it's not <laughs> well, you know, all respect to uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> because you know, I also teach, and it's um, it's hard to get that across to um, uh, theater students that come in and want to be theatrical. I have mm -hmm. to tone them down. Then the opposite is true, where I'm directing a play, and I have someone who's more comfortable in front of the camera. Now I have to get them to open up, right, yeah. and to have and to project, yeah, and to project. which is really difficult. And you know, in theater, when you haven't done that. Yeah. In theater, it's you know, in, in film and television, a lot of it could be in the eyes. Mm -hmm. In theater, you, it's from head to toe. It's gotta be and, everywhere. And you gotta be there from head to toe the whole way. And so, it, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's great. But yeah. Paul, you talked about the teaching thing. We heard mm -hmm. a quote from you saying that the acting is like dancing mambo. How do you express that and pull that out of your kids, whether they're from film mm -hmm. or from theater, like what's the mambo thing about? Well, the mambo thing, um, you know, mambo just means high priestess of voodoo, you know, of voodoo. That's, that's, that's the actual uh, translation of it. Um, but it is a dance uh, as well. It's a Latin dance. And the beauty of it is that it's so spontaneous and so rich. And what I try to get across to my students is not to be tied up in knots with analytical knots of how it should be. Because a lot of times you go to school and we get tied up in knots you know, as to how it should be. Many times right. you just throw that away. And you say, listen, mm -hmm. it, it, you can be wrong and be right. You can be right and be wrong. <laughs> this is just a dance. And sometimes uh, by just uh, throwing everything into the mix and by just having a fearlessness to your acting, there are many things that will, will be discovered in that dance, in that crazy dance. I love that. Well, let's also talk about something else that Brian just kind of glossed over there, which is that you teach with your wife. Yeah. How's, how'd that come about? And is that I never gloss fun? Over. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me. Uh, yeah, well, it, you know, we, we trained with the same mm. people many years ago. That's mm. how we met. Um, my first day in acting school was when I met her. And that was, well, it's going to be 40 years in September, and that's how we met. So we have the same training. And we basically, I think, because we're co-directing the piece, and David says that we basically say the same thing in different ways. Yes. <laughs> yes, same thing in different ways. In different uh, ways. And it's great because you get a d different perspective of the same information that you, uh, you need mm -hmm. to uh, do, your, do your thing. Yeah, she's very meticulous. She's very organized. Yeah. You know, she's like, she's, she's, she's yeah. incredible. Me, I kind of like show up. And feel. Feel. <laughs> mm -hmm. feel for the day. Yeah, I just try to feel and just kind of, okay, maybe, you know, I don't write things down yeah. many times. I'm just going with the flow. So it's a good combination between the two. And she's, um, she's directed David before. She directed me, my first two plays ever. Yeah. What? She, she directed me in. Did you know her before you knew Paul? No, no, no. I, no. I met them okay. together at, uh, okay. 25 mm -hmm. years 25 ago. 25 years yeah. ago, yeah. So these were your first two plays were directed by your by wife. Kathy. By, by Kathy. By Kathy. She has a name. Oh by Kathy. 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 She has a name. Got <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kathy. You're out of the office. wife to go home tonight, so you better get it together. Oh, but you found your way to acting through a more non-traditional path, too. You were protecting and serving out here before you got into those two plays. Yes, I, I, um, I've always wanted to be an actor, but you know, sometimes life just takes over and you know, I waited, mm -hmm. I became, uh, joined the service, the Air Force, and came out and became a cop. Had a family I needed to, uh, to support. Bye -bye. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, I was until about 29 years old, 28 years old, when I, I said, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try acting, and I um, started studying acting, I loved it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got involved in this new theater company 
that Paul was uh, one of the founding members, and I was lucky enough to get in that, and that's where I started working on plays and starting to learn what I uh, what uh, what I learned throughout the years in that company, you know, and um, which gave us the knowledge to then start Primitive Grace and try to get that awesome. same vibe and that same energy. Yeah. You know? So, do you feel like because of that? Do you feel like you get typecast at times as like a cop or someone in the military or even as a Latino? I mean, to speak more broadly about typecasting. You know, I don't really think about it. I, I go by project to project. If it's a good writing, it doesn't matter what. I don't judge the characters I'm mm -hmm. given, whether it's a cop, whether it's a drug dealer, whether it's a priest. It doesn't, it, it's, it's about the writing and creating that character. Uh, yeah, I play a lot of cops. I play a lot of mm -hmm. bad guys. I play all a lot of yeah, it's like like all that. that. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, but it's you know it's uh, it's a lot more fun doing it this way than it was before. But um, yeah, I get paid, it, it, I, yeah, yeah, get paid a little $5 more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Especially this play. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. What, do you, what do you guys see happening next after the life of the play? Are we going to take this yeah. one What's possibly to the screen or? Thinking about completely different projects for when you're done. Well, I mean, uh, everything is possible. You know, right. I mean, we, we we just take it a day at a time. We want to continue. We want to use this as a, a a platform to get the energy for future projects within our company. Um, as for the life of the play, that usually comes as opportunities present themselves, and you know, Paul and and myself will you know figure it out and and take it a. Uh, the next step as it comes along, you know, we don't, uh, yeah, we never, we, even when we started this, we didn't have didn't know a set plan. Mm -hmm. We just said, let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Let's just do it. And mm -hmm. uh, so we'll see. I mean, I hope, I hope so. I mean, uh, it'd be, it'd be great to continue. Uh, this is a great project. We have other projects also that we want to work on and, um, like sky's what? the limit. Yeah, are you robbing <laughs> yeah. actually the do the work of the theater? You go and shoot one of these huge big lights things and then come home and do the real work of the acting and inspiring? Well, basically that's one of the reasons why we started the, uh, the company mm. because, you know, um, you know, doing film, doing TV can be very, very laborious and mm. many times you get into habits, mm. uh, many times bad habits. You know, because you know what works, so you keep repeating yourself. I can only speak for myself, you know. And we wanted um, uh, a forum where we could just, like the old days, just uh, get together, you know, um, twice a month and just throw caution to the wind and not worry about uh, critics or cameras. So it just play with one another. And mm -hmm. it's been a godsend to me and I'm sure to you yes, as well. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, no, it's, you know, it, it's all, uh, there are parts of, the, your, I, I call it the acting island in your brain yeah. that um, kind of takes a pause when you're working on film and television. You, uh, you're doing certain things, but it's always good to go back and, and do theater because it's a different muscle. Yeah. At least for me, it's a different muscle that I need to, you know, when it's dormant for so long, and it's like, can I still do this? Flex. So yeah. let's, let's go and see if I could, see if that'll click back into, uh, yeah. into gear, you know? And uh, this definitely did that. Yeah, right. he, hadn't, he hadn't done a play in eight years. I hadn't yeah. done a play in 17 wow. years. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so, and I wasn't yeah. supposed to be in this play to begin with. You know, I, I didn't write it for myself. I had somebody else in mind. Yeah. He couldn't do it because he was doing a show. The other gentleman that we replaced him with had too many things going on in his life about three weeks ago, so I had to step in, you know. And wow. So it, it <laughs> talk about yeah, not planning how the thing's gonna go and yeah, having it totally change. That's, that's the way it yeah. goes. It's, right, it's probably the last one to learn his lines too. Like you wrote the whole damn thing, and then and now you don't I'm, know yeah, your exactly, lines. I don't know my still, lines like, exactly. Who wrote this? Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, who? Yeah, like exactly. Who, who the hell wrote? And we were joking about that, right? Yeah. So who the hell wrote this? Who wrote this? <laughs> Amazing. All right, tell us where to go and when to see this production. Mm -hmm. Well, it's at the Axis Theater, 380 Broadway, south of Canal. You can take the, um, the 60 the and the R and the W. Man, yeah. 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 Tell you how to mm -hmm. get to the show. And it's going to run through January 28th. Okay. It runs Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I think this, yeah, 
Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, yeah. right? Saturday we have a matinee. This and Saturday we have, we have a matinee. Mm -hmm. okay. And it runs through January 28th, and go see it because right. he's incredible in it. He's and so really is he. he's incredible just in amazing. It. In it. He's really amazing. <laughs> Well, the clock is ticking. I'll go see Fringe of Humanity. Yes, please do. Okay. Thank you, Thank you so much thank for so joining much. us. Thank you, guys. Okay.